Hi, hello. You might have clicked on this video expecting me to shit on Only Use Me Blade for about 10 to 15 minutes, like the other YouTubers have. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this won't be like any of those other videos. Instead, it'll be a Cautionary Tales video about him and his alcoholism. It would be so easy for me to make a video about me shitting on him and bringing up the same info we already know about him for the past two years, but I wanted to spice things up and take a semi-serious approach on more recent stuff regarding his health. But for those of you that don't know who this gluttonous blob of a man is, let me give you a very brief history lesson on who Only Use Me Blade is. Only Use Me Blade, or by his real name Brian Rizzo, was a Call of Duty commentator from the early 2010s who gained fame because he would play Call of Duty in a very specific way, i.e. he would only use his blade, hence the name only use me blade. And ever since then he would travel through the internet and appear alongside some of the most notorious characters on the web. Just to name a few, he would appear alongside people like Keemstar and Ice Poseidon and many many more. Problematic people if you might if I might say so. But throughout his journey on the internet, one thing has been clear and has always stayed with him in his life. And that's alcohol. Real quick and then we'll drink as we need. Alright, here we goes. That's a triple. See, Brian loves alcohol. If anything, he likes alcohol a little bit too much. In almost every clip I've seen of him while doing research for this video, I've seen him drinking some very heavy stuff. Not shit like Miller Lite or, or, or fucking whatever. No, he would drink a mixture of drinks such as Jaeger bombs, vodka, scotch, the works. All of them into a mixture of just just a pure potpourri of liver damage. He would drink stuff that would make me pass out after one sip. And he would drink shots for donations and sometimes even reaching 13 shots of Jaeger in a single stream. I know that he drinks a lot more than that, but I just wanted to highlight the clips that I've seen of him. His addiction started very early into the 2010s, specifically around 2015. But I could be wrong and maybe he started drinking well before that. I think the first video of him drinking on camera was back in one of his live streams in 2015, but I could be very wrong, like I just stated. And also, it's kinda impossible to go back and check because his first channel was terminated due to him breaking the YouTube guidelines with, you guessed it, his drinking problem and everything that came with it. Anyways, the point is, is that he's been drinking for a long time. Oh, but Noble, doesn't he drink a shot every once in a while? No, from what I can understand, Brian drinks on the regularly and has adopted this I don't care, I'll drink whatever the fuck I want kind of persona and evolved it into a drunkard who is harming his body and killing it type B. This man, this single cell organism has downed more bottles of alcohol than I can count. He essentially treats it like it's water, which brings up his other problems like being extremely aggressive when he drinks. Blade is a big guy, and when he was drinking back when his stomach wasn't the size of a small cow, he would get pretty violent towards everyone and everything, including a dog at one point. To me, as soon as you harm a dog, your life is forfeit at that point. I see you as less than scum if you try to throw a chihuahua, one of the cutest dogs in existence. Yes, I will die on this hill. But being aggressive is just the start of his problems. It seems like his excessive binge drinking has not only caught up with him in his recent weeks, but has greatly decreased his ability to walk, talk normally, and even think. Although he can still talk, we don't really know if we're talking to the blade that has been drinking for years and years and years to the point where he will tell you anything just so you can go away so he can drink some more, or Brian Rizzo's mind that's been eaten up by alcohol for years now. Speaking of talking, Blade seems to use a lot of very, very colorful language when he drinks. See what I did there? Color. Because he says what? Honestly, it kind of amazes me that someone like him who has his whole presence online drunk just says the n-word fucking casually and is still streaming to this day. Blade often uses phrases such as scrump delicious, shots, 
fire sales, racial slurs, grope, poor, bitch, and more offensive terms while he's drunk. He and his now wife Becky often use the N-word, and not the soft A, the hard R one, the one that will get you thrown out of fucking Applebee's. Most of the time they would use this word to refer to themselves, despite <laughs> being white. As of now, they often do sexual streams where people make fun of them. So honestly, they just stream so people can just make fun of them. If that isn't a sad fucking existence, I don't know what is. Throughout his binge drinking for years and years, Blade would develop type 2 diabetes. And type 2 diabetes is where the body will not produce enough insulin, or the body cells do not react to insulin at all. Meaning he's pretty much fucked if he gets any major gashes or, or wounds on his body. Speaking of streaming, let's take a look at one of his latest streams from the time I'm recording this. Watching a stream he did from a few days ago compared to a video of him from back in the past is very depressing. Okay, as far as what a viewer watches, I personally think one of my greatest streams ever was the New Orleans stream, okay? Now as far as like donos go, dog shit. $17 for like 7 hours of ridiculousness. Wake up chat! Tell me how you found my channel. Let's get some conversation going on in here. It's one of those days where things aren't going right, bros. But we'll stay positive. If it ain't evidence that this man's existence is just pure depression at this point, then you should know that his latest stream was in 480p, which is just the most depressing image imaginable for someone like him. Imagine streaming in 480p to 500 people and they just make fun of you and you're just drinking. That is so fucking sad. You can see that this man, he, he ain't there anymore. You don't need to be a genius or a doctor to see that this man isn't going to make it to the end of this decade. I mean, his comment section pretty much already knows it. And if you thought you'd see people trying to encourage Blake to stop drinking and get his life in order in these comment sections, then you might not want to go into them. You might not want to go into this comment section because uh, that place isn't exactly sunshines and support rainbows for Blake. Maybe at first when his alcoholism was new and his problems first started, but it seems that people are kind of fed up with him at this point. And I see a lot more people hating him than helping him. And you can agree with them, you can agree with the people that are hating him, because there was a clip surfacing of him on the PKA podcast telling them that he would sober up and finally put down the bottle for good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Blade, did you say you were one month sober? Uh, yes, technically I am one month sober. Um, oh, technically. Yeah, what is technically I... sober? We're just meth now? <laughs> like... No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not quite, I'm not quite one month sober. I'm like three and a half weeks sober, if that makes sense. Okay. So I just rounded up, rounded up to make it sound good. Uh, I, stopped I, did... I stopped shooting up. Now I just snort the heroin. <laughs> technically. I, I, I did yeah. do a stream with this guy. I don't know if you guys know him. His name's OG Geezer in vegas because people were mm -hmm. begging me to like get out of this house like you know there's nothing to do with there's no way to do actual irl streaming right now so, so um but I, I went traveled got some stuff out of my storage and then after that i started having um some pain in my leg and, and it got to the point that um i basically went to the doctor and i knew you know basically I, i've been to the doctor they've treated me with you know, diabetes and high blood pressure. And I knew about it, but I wasn't taking it seriously. Uh, this time I'm taking it seriously. So obviously just had to cut out the booze. I'm out of the hospital. I'm taking a million pills and taking insulin shots and stuff like that. And then um, obviously I want to have alcohol out of, out of the system during that time. And also it's, it's good to cleanse. Like even when I was like actively drinking, like, you know, five times a week or whatever, just to take like three days off to give your body, you know, some, some fucking time to recover is good. So this is, it's more so for my health as whatever. So once I get my health back to where it needs to be, then, and then we can like look at my levels, do a drinking stream and see where we're at there and see if like we can still keep a healthy blade <laughs> and a, a intoxicated blade. I just that was two years ago and he hasn't stopped drinking since. Blade is the type of person that does not seek out help and does not go through with his commitment, and it's a shame. 
A ton of people still remember watching him play Call of Duty back in the day, back in his early days, and seeing him now reduced to a man who developed decitis, a condition in which the fluids collect in the spaces within your abdomen, is just fucking dis it's just depressing and disgusting. I don't know if you guys have seen the vi the photos of him and his leg. It's just fucking disgusting, man. But I feel like he did bring this upon himself, and I feel like it's already too late to help him. I kind of had a little bit of sympathy for him because my dad has diabetes as well, and seeing Blade go through this kind of reminded me of my dad, but not really because my dad's like, my dad's fine. He's not an alcohol like addict or anything like that. He's fucking fine. But just seeing somebody else with diabetes kind of, kind of just, I don't know, man. I saw that and I felt bad, but at the same time, he's a lol cow, and as soon as you feel sorry for them, that's when they get you. Oh yeah, graphic content, by the way, he, his toe has a hole in it. Oh my god. Like I said before, my dad has diabetes, and every time he comes back from work, he takes care of his legs. Like, he, he puts, he puts like, lotion on it and everything. He takes care of himself. But Blade, I can 100% I can see that this man did not touch a fucking lotion bottle in years. As somebody who has a dad who is diabetic, if you even have a scratch on your leg, you should take care of that ASAP. And I don't know if you guys remember years and years ago where he accidentally fell into some cactus or something like that and he punctured his leg and he didn't take care of that wound. Yeah, that wound is now a hole in his leg. Seeing this hole as the size of a dime in his toe is just extremely depressing and gross. To, to just see how little he cares about his body at this point. But yeah, that's it for me. This was a cautionary tale to prevent people from doing the same mistakes and bad habits that Blade has been doing to his life as of right now. It's honestly a shame seeing this man de-evolved into a shambling meat skeleton with his inside filled with alcohol. I would want to wish the best for Blade, or I mean Brian at this point, but it seems like even if I did that, I would have wasted my breath. Brian and his conditioning worsening will probably not see the end of this decade. And if he even does, then he probably will live the very short rest of his life in shame, public mockery, and pretty much disgust to everyone who still watches his stream. But yeah, that's it for me. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section down below, or if you have anything else to add to Blade, and his ever-growing problem. I would love to just read in the comment section what you guys think about him personally. I don't know if you guys have ever watched him back in the day. I remember watching him like a little bit, but never really catching on. But yeah, that's it for me. This is Noble signing off and telling you guys to stay safe and drink responsibly, please. See you guys. Bye.